share with you my newest album and this album measures six by six and has a two inch spine um, I wanted to use a six by six paper collection and I tried to do it with just one six by six paper collection so I started off with time to celebrate by graphic 45 and this is you know basically what I wanted to use I wanted this album you know to be pretty simple and pretty plain so I wanted to try to use just this one six by six pad and it has 36 sheets but I'm gonna tell you I did run out of paper so I dug around in my stash a little bit and I found something that would match this botanical tea paper it matched pretty you know pretty good there um, of course I did not use the blues and the pink didn't really match but the green and the brown match really really well with the time to celebrate so that's what I used in this album um, so here on the front I do have this little cut apart here I layered it on some cream card stock I added this little tiny paper clip not paper clip um, clothes pin I added some lace I have a dolly I have some cheesecloth here um, I did add these little heartfelt creations flowers here I punched these out with the stamps um, stamps dies and the little press thing so that's how I made my flowers I did use this little stamp here this little cut apart stamp there and I added two little bling pieces there from my stash um, I did use a seam binding closure here on the side I left it plain and on the back I left it plain as well and what I done was I made this this is a smaller version of my um, my dogs album I, I'll leave the link in the description bar below of the album that I based this on um, I was asked you know well not really asked but I was um, somebody had mentioned to me that they were looking to use six by six pads and they liked the dog mini album that I had created so what I done was I figured you know I'll make a six by six album and base it you know pretty much like the dog album so that's what I did here um, so that's how I got my inspiration for this album okay so it opens up like this and then here on the front inside cover what I done was I made the fronts and the backs you know match each other alright so this is the front and what I've done is here you have a little frame and I did not add acetate to my frames and the reason why I didn't is um, one reason I didn't want it to glare really bad and another reason I wanted it you know to be easy for you to slide your photo in and out so I left it open here on the sides and then I just took this little cut apart here or not cut apart it's just a piece that I cut apart um, but I just left it where you could slide it in and then once you have your photo in you could just add a little glue here to the corner and then just tack it down that's totally optional you know you can always leave it open and then you can just you know glue your photo here or you could journal here whatever you wanted to do all right so I have my little photo or cut apart here all right and then I have a pocket here and I just took this is one of the graphic 45 tags or um, not tags I'm sorry dies and sorry about that and so what I done is this is the one that I have okay I have the bigger die here um, and what I done was I just used the top part so I just put it on here you know and then I just cut it off to make it the size that I needed it to be so this is the die that I used and so it just slides okay so I added a little um, scrap piece here just a little piece and then I tied some seam binding here and it just tucks right back in this little pocket here okay and then this flips open so you have space here and here to hold your photos and then this flips open so you have a large space here and then here I just added a little tuck spot and just a little photo mat here so you could also add a photo here if you wanted to and use this for journaling alright and then um, on the pages here this album is four pages and like I said all four pages are going to be the same so here you have plenty of space here to add a photo this flips up and here you have a pocket and what I've done is I just used the cut apart and then some scraps that I had left over look how pretty that image is um, just for you know little tags little photo mats and they took right back in here but you have a space here that you can also add a photo okay and then here I just added a little stamp here to the bottom 
and this little piece here is actually the cut apart or the um, punched out part of the frame here so see it goes in like that so what I done is I just used it here just for a little tuck spot so you could add your photo here and maybe journal on here all right that flips down each page does have a pocket here I did not add anything in the pockets all right it flips over again this um, the back of the pages will mirror the front here all right so again you have your little cut apart here so you have space here all right it just slides right back in then you have your little tag okay and then this flips open and look how pretty this paper is y'all I love 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 this paper all right flips open and you'll see here like the two greens they're not exactly the same but they match you know really really well so I'm very pleased with you know how this album turned out being I had run out of paper and was kind of stressing because you know this paper collection here the um, the time to celebrate is an older collection and the botanical tea I believe is also but anyway all right so you flip open you have this little tuck spot here and look how pretty this image is I love these little um, cut aparts all right here you have space here this flips up again you have your little pocket here okay your space here and I did use my Martha Stewart punch throughout the album okay here again you have your little tuck spot plenty of space here for photos so it flips over and again you have your little mat here to add your photo on or you could add your photo here all right your little tag here so it flips open so you have plenty of space throughout this album you know this is a smaller album being a six by six but you see you can get a lot of photos in this album okay and then here again on the front plenty of space here all right flips up you have space here and here you could also journal you know if you don't want to add a photo here you could journal here or you could add your photo here and have these little um, cut aparts for journaling you know however you want to make your album I will have a tutorial for this album and I'll have it posted um, in a couple of days after you um, see this album or after this video is posted all right again you have the little cut apart here I love these polka dots all right again you have your little pull out tag here with your seam binding touch right back in the little pocket here okay this flips open again you have some really pretty paper here all right flips open again and here again you have another little tuck spot another little photo mat all right and then the last page plenty of space here and then here you have your little two little tags a little photo here okay your photo here and I love these little stamps these little stamps are super super cute all right this flips open or not open but over all right and then this little image here I love these roses roses are my favorite flower ever and again you have the cute little polka dots all right and then a little tag same binding touch right back in your little pocket here flips open so you have these really really pretty flowers I think my camera's a little dark I'm not really sure but look how pretty those flowers are y'all it's just gorgeous and I love this little cut apart again your little photo mat plenty of space here all right and then the last page is like the front of your pages so it flips up like this okay you have your two little pockets these tuck right back in plenty of space here and then plenty of space here with your little tuck spot here Okay, and here what I did instead of adding a little um, stamp I just used a little cut apart that says botanical tea 
okay y'all that is this album it is so so super simple so super cute and i have to say you know i was stressing a little bit about running out of paper but i'm glad i did run out of paper because i love the way it turned out and i hope you all enjoy this album and like i said i will have a video i mean a tutorial and i want to thank everybody so much for watching and i hope you all have a great day thanks so much bye